Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Knight's Kingdom review, or Bilbo figure review of Knight's Kingdom, anyways. And this one is on uh, King Jaco from 2006. Alright. So on the start of the instruction manual, or booklet, you see the Lego Knight's Kingdom's logos, and with that blue border to it, Picture of him in action launching his uh, catapult and King Jaco specific logo there, and chainmail kind of theming around it, the whole border, and also age range six to twelve, set number eight seven zero one, and the first page of which is of course all the pieces used to make both part components of the set of course, and on the back is large ad of all the figures of this wave saying defend the power or defend the tower save the kingdom then last building step for that and then out of the other figures in the wave and of course Lord Vladic of which next next throwback Thursday of course and then add for some of the minifigure sets that there were and then the comic strip that shows the storyline. And if you want to look at it, pause the video. And then LEGO Universe showing Shop at Home and LEGO Club, and also how to win on the online survey, okay, and there. So first part of the set, which is the King Jaco figure in himself. See, overall, which quite the same as most of the other figures of this line, of course. But of course, he which third version of Jaco, which was one of the main characters of the whole line. But of course, this is which a little bit different, like a lot less blue and actually plenty of white to him, which I'll go over later. So as for the legs, oh, it, oh, it's all the same as the other two of this line, being Sir Kentis and Sir Adrak, also of this line, of course, but same shin pieces, but foot pieces, which are just the same as all the other figures, but instead with this uh, creamish blue, white or grayish white color of which great to see there since haven't seen for much of the other rest of the line of course and as for the upper legs of which also in that color of course and also oh well, but also dark gray for the lower legs but at least are well covered by that by the armor bit Yes, and of course the leg bit, upper armor, which armor, which just the same as all the other figure, or all the rest of these figures, of course, but with gold to it, which nice touch there, and also the uh, body torso piece, which just the same as all the other, same as Jake, as Sir Jacobs from the prior year, but at least it's a different color scheme to that, but. Aside from that, it's good sculpting and good paintwork and yeah. And as for the arms of which, same exact armor piece as what the other two good knights in this wave also had. Also great to have for mocking, of course. But the rest of the arms of which, just the same as all the other figures, but also with the lower arm piece in sandish white, we'll call it, yeah. And as for the, his sword here, uh, which is quite exclusive to this set, uh, which which does have some nice detailing on it, and there's and different two pin holes there, and of course different, and also cross guard on it, of course. So at least one that's still workable for mocking, of course. And on the other armor, which as you can see, the same shield shield piece as what Sir Jaco from the prior year also had, but, or well, yeah. 
But as for the head, oh, wait. Yeah, you're, so now you're all probably wondering, is it the same as King with Liasis? Well, actually, not much. But at least, the same exact crown piece as King with Lias, but also so nice printing, or nice face printing with a yellow skin tone to it, but also with a little gold bar bit to on to it. But still a little different than King Matthias is, but and also the like, and of course the headpiece in dark blue, almost like the previous versions of Jaco did. The, and it's now for the back part, which, which as you can see, is a full cape. Just like we had with King Matthias, signify that he's king, of course. And also, same exact kind of feature as the last version of Jaco and some of the other figures that would turn it and get the uh, arm slashing feature, of course. And so now, for a little comparison, is with the first two versions of Jaco of 2004. And also of 2005. So, like, as you can see, there's not very much of blue on it since that's his main color. So, and although the armor bits of which kind of similar to each other, and also, and as you see, with the first two of which do have the same exact. Uh, mask pieces but so at least you can kind of bit see the oh minus the crown oops all right well as you see the head pieces as the previous Jenko still in dark blue and at least the face prints kind of similar but with the gray scruffle to it and hair printing just the same as on, on all. And also for the shield pieces, which as you can see, one of which has a silver trim all around, and this one has a more gold trim around. And also with the other two of which that the body piece is quite the same, but opposite color scheme. Flip on the backs of each of them, as you can see. Same exact feature as the previous version, but not from the first version. But although the first version does have some white on it, which kind of contrasts with the oddish white color on this current version, but yeah. That is it for that. And as for the articulation of him, just the same as all the other figures of the line, even though the slashing feature does kind of get in the way of the arm articulation, no wrist articulation, and the head can swivel back and forth, but not all around, but yeah. And that is about it with King Jaco. And now onto the catapult, which as you can see, this build of which Quite interesting for how it is. Like, kind of similar to most catapults we get in most castle sets. But what's different with this one is that it's up to in scale with the figure, of course, well, construction figure, that is, instead of being like normal minifig scale to it. Although, it would be nice if the, most other construction lines also had this, this but at well, least nice to see something different here. So like for the front part of which, uh, hang on. which as you see has the little uh, two battle axe pieces like we saw with Sir uh, Adrak also in this wave, but as for the wheels here, which do have the like large or a few corner brick pieces and those uh, metal plate type pieces in there, of course. Like little, little wheels have the rounded bricks on them. And as for the bottom part, which quite hollow, 
Well, but of course, since this was an earlier, simpler time, they used a lot of larger pieces. As for the rest of which does have some like slopes around and also this little back section with a couple of jagged slopes there. And for the main bit of which, or capital bit of which, which does have, which is connected on some Technic bricks, of course, and these two gold plates are ones that you press on to make it fire. And also, same exact armor piece that uh, most of the figures of this wave also had, but just used as a metal covering to that. Quite nice use of that piece. And also half of a boulder piece in black. And, and speaking of which, get this classic uh, boulder rock piece that we also saw in some of the Bionicle play sets from the time. But a little different with this one is that you can like when you pop it out and there's three transworn cylinders probably to make it kind of exploding feature and me one of the features of this is tap on that and things like so and it does go quite far distance and so now on. and the other feature with this is Roll it and it makes the two battle axes go either at different, either at once or, at, or a little different. Oh, which quite fun and different. And so now on to the final verdict. On this so. so overall I think this is which a quite cool set for the time but and now but nowadays still kind of is well at least have some at least like for the capital at least good to have something that's like in a different scale than like we do with UCS Star Wars and things but and also good to see Jayco in a quite different form since storyline wise got to be rewarded and take as king. But, so at least great to see a third version of one of the main characters of this line, which we'll also see with Vladek, of course. And also for the main sword piece of him, great to have. And also the axes is with the little catapult. Also great to have for both mocking and also like the, this whole line few pieces nice pieces you can have for the mocking also forgot to mention is the like little armor bits from the earlier figures but in black good to see a little return there but yeah and also good to see some gold on the unlike in some of the earlier figures of course but yeah. and so now if you still have this set from back in the day well i hope you had some good memories of it and for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.